Hey gang, Dr. Jeff here from Legacy Chiropractic in Shipshawana. I want to talk about an interesting topic today that everyone talks about and kind of gets off and wrong. It's called the slip disc. Hey Dr. Jeff, I've got a slip disc. Did my disc slip? My doctor told me I had a slip disc. A friend said there's a slip disc. So today I want to actually share the truth with you, the truth about a slip disc. The truth is this, the disc itself cannot slip. So there is actually no such thing as a slipped disc. But what I do want to show you is what happens to the disc and what slips and what doesn't. So let's turn this around and let's take a look at a poster that I created. I created this poster, I made this myself, and I'm going to show you a couple components here. So we've got the bone, the disc, and the bone. And the disc is a water balloon and the nerve sits right there. And the water balloon sits in between the two bones. Now, when the head is back and there's a curve in the spine and the head is back over the hips, Gravity goes right through the center part of the discs and the discs work like they're supposed to. No herniated, bulging disc, no disc problem. But when we see a loss of curve and the head comes forward of the body, for every one inch it comes forward, the head weighs an extra 10 pounds, it comes forward, now the spine will lean forward and instead of the disc slipping, the bones actually slip and move and now the pressure goes to the front part of the disc and it bulges or herniates the disc backwards. So the disc itself herniates or bulges, it doesn't slip. What slips is the bones because the head has come forward, you've lost the curve. So in our office, we've developed or I've developed a technique called global spinal balancing where even if you've got low back pain and herniations in the low back, we look at the spine globally as a whole and we're able to actually restore proper spinal function, taking the bones, putting them back where they belong, taking the pressure off the disc and basically taking the disc and sucking it back in naturally through our program. So again, there is no such thing as a slip disc, only a disc that bulges and herniated because of a slip bone, because of a spine that's out of alignment. And over the last decade, I developed my own technique with specific adjustments. We take specific x-rays, specific measurements, a specific exercise program that I developed over a decade ago. And we get phenomenal results for those who have disc problems, who might've even had surgery. We answer the question, it's not a slip disc, it's a bulge or herniation because of a slip bone. If you'd like more information, check us out on www.bestchiropractorindiana.com. This is Dr. Jeff saying talk to you soon.